I'm Mark Nesbitt and I'm Senior Research Leader for Interdisciplinary Research at Kew. We're standing in the Economic Botany Collection and in amongst these 100,000 specimens are around about 25,000 specimens of crude drugs, so plant-based medicines. And of course, most medicines today, even though they're mostly synthesised, still have their origin in, in plants that are absolutely crucial to human well-being. And what I want to talk about is one particular medicine, quinine. Got a specimen of cinchona bark, so cinchona, that's the tree that produces quinine uh, in its bark. And that's historically really important, both as an effective treatment for malaria and as a source of the key flavour in tonic water. As European colonisers moved into the tropics, they faced a whole wealth of tropical diseases, including malaria, and it's by using quinine, both as a treatment but as a preventative as well, it really opened up the tropics to colonial settlement. You can see here a really fantastic example of a 19th century label. So what can we use this for? One thing we can do is understand how Q was involved in those global transfers. So ultimately the Sinchona trees were taken from the Andes to, to India by, by Q botanists, really uh, transformed both the landscape of India, the, the huge plantations of Sinchona, but were planted of those historic Sinchona forests have gone, over-harvested in the 19th century, over-harvested in the Second World War particularly. Now if you want mature Sinchona barks, relatively good information about where they came from and on the date, then it's sitting here in historic collections. We do quite a lot of work here at Kew to make sort of these collections so accessible to researchers far into the future, and we're looking here hundreds of years ahead but you're not only looking at the current day situation, you need to understand how you got there. And um, if you want that long time trajectory, historic collections are absolutely vital. So if you'd like to find out more about Kew's Economic Botany Collection, keep your eyes peeled for the next episode. Donate to Kew today if you want to support our world-leading research and vast collections.